Hello YouTube, it is the Killer Nacho again, and I have part 7 of my Pokemon White playthrough, so let's get started. Last time we were chasing Team Plasma, um, well, kind of, I mean, we kind of let them off the hook for a bit, we kind of waited for, um, what, 15 minutes to really start chasing them, but they're too stupid to actually, you know, run away, so, uh, we're just going to keep chasing them down now, even though it's like nighttime already in-game, and, um, two days later. So yeah, they're pretty lazy about their running away business, but that's pretty good if, you know, you're that person that just lost that exhibit. Anyway, so here's a Venipede. Uh, this youngster decides to challenge me because he's like, I don't really care about Team PETA either. So we're just going to have a Pokemon battle since they're too stupid to run away. But anyway, I'm going out of my bacon because my bacon can take whatever, and I'm just going to go for a fire move to take down that Venipede because I just didn't want it, you know, to take a poison move on my um, battle bug. And, um, yeah, actually, I don't know why I decided to do that, because Smog is a really terrible move, especially on a Fire-type Pokemon, because it offers no coverage whatsoever. Because the only, I think the only, the only type that, uh, Poison's actually good against is, um, Grass, and Fire is probably better, but whatever. Um, I have Smog anyway, and I'll probably never use it. Alright, so, anyway, let's go out into this game, uh, oh, crap, it has a Rock move. I was gonna say, let's go out into my Battle Bug, because I resist fighting, but... Uh, I am weak to rock, so I'm just going to switch out into Troll, I guess, to take whatever. And he's going to bide, which is kind of annoying. So I guess I'm just going to go for, um... Actually, I got rid of Harden, so I really have only attacking moves on this guy right now. But I'll go with Mud Slap. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It can lower his accuracy, and that's not so bad. And, um, yeah, it's going to unleash its energy, but because it was only a Mud Slap, it doesn't do anything. So that's pretty nice, and now it has no accuracy. So, okay, let's go for a... Oh, I, uh, I forgot that it resisted Brock. Whatever. It's still stabbed. It's doing decent damage. If I hit enough... Oh, I get a crit, so that works too. And Timber is gone. It's Timber Crash. <sighs> Actually, I'm narrating and playing this when I'm pretty tired. This is uh, probably as late as night I can really play Pokemon because I feel like doing other things late at night. All right, so anyway, here is a Grass Pokemon. Petilil. I don't... Petilil? I don't know. Stupid Pokemon names is stupid. Alright, so, anyway, Bug Bite is super effective, so I'm just gonna do that. It's, um, pretty nice, and Battle Bug needs to get some, you know, experience being the lowest level in my party and all. Here comes another Venipede, just to come out and annoy me, so I guess I'll just go out into, um, Bacon, because I don't want to waste experience. I mean, yeah, Wild-type Pokemon, are they're, like, not a lot of experience, but there's still some experience, and it's, like, I kind of want experience. So Flame Charge is super effective, and that should take down the Venipede. Of course it has Poison Point, and it works. Ah, uh, what a pain. So now I'm poisoned. Hopefully I have an antidote somewhere. Um. Oh, I hate these bags. It's so confusing. Alright, here we go. This is the right patch. And I do have an antidote. Good. I have two of them. So I can easily cure that poison. That really annoying poison. Alright, so, continuing, there's an item that I want to grab, but of course, this person's going to challenge me before. The Ranger. The Park Ranger's like, don't chase Team Plasma, have a Pokemon battle with me instead. Why didn't you have a Pokemon battle with Team Plasma as they were, like, running by? I mean, that's what I always wondered. Like, there's a million trainers in my way, but why did they challenge Team Plasma? I mean, with a level 18 monkey thing, you probably could actually beat their pat rats and everything, but whatever. Alright, so anyway, bug bites are effective, so I'm gonna do that, but uh, Fury Swipes is annoyingly strong, so I have to use a super potion so I don't die. Yeah, that would be convenient if I don't die. And of course, he gets a crit with Fury Swipes, and it's five times. Oh, goody. So I'm right back where I started. Useless potion. And then he gets a paralyze off a lick. What the hell is this? These are why I hate the monkey things. Not only are they ridiculous looking, but they're, like, just lucky, I guess. But anyway, I'm level 17 now. It's, um, that's kind of nice. And unfortunately, I don't think I have a Paralyzed Cure item, but I'll check anyway. Chesto Berry is one of those items. I think that's Sleep, so I don't have... A and this is an Antidote, so that's not Paralyzed Heal either. How annoying. Um, so yeah, I don't have a Paralyzed Heal in here. I wonder if any of my berries can do it. I don't think so. Okay, so, I'll just use a Super Potion to raise his HP, because, yeah, at least I'll have it at high HP, even though it's still Paralyzed. And Paralyzed is one of, like, the most... You know what? I actually think Paralyzed might be the most annoying status in the game. I mean, Burn comes close, but Paralyzed is so annoying because you have that 25% chance that won't go away, that you can't, like, move. 
And on addition, your speed being, I think it's actually not even, it's, it's worse than halved. I think it's actually like, it's a one-fourth of what it should be. It's just like the most annoying thing ever, because you're always going to go last, and the paralyzed chance is just so low. I mean, 25% isn't a great chance, really, but it always happens like the worst time. So I think paralyzed might be the most annoying status condition overall in the game. And like makes because these sawaddles, ah, I can't take a bug bite. Actually, fetus can't take a bug bite either, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but whatever. And uh, yeah, my speed is down. Oh no! So it outspeeds me in bug bites, of course. It has four moves, but it randomly selects bug bite against my Muna. I don't even know why I went into Muna actually, because they're both weak to bug bite. But I'm better off just staying with Battle Bug. Whatever. All right, so Waddle's dead, and I'm gonna have to waste another freaking super potion. I guess I could run back to the nurse lady, but I'm way too lazy for that. And not to mention, I'd just come back and fight the wild encounters anyway. This is all the wild encounters that are doing this. And look, another ranger. Deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Man, I have a dirty mind. Never mind. Alright, so here comes Panpour, which is the water monkey. Another ridiculous looking monkey. I think there's like one ranger of each in this forest, as I recall. One has each of the ridiculous looking monkeys. But anyway, Razor Leaf is super effective, so that's pretty nice. He's gonna lick me, but I'm already paralyzed. I mean, I don't know why you're trying to lick a bug. That's kind of gross, but whatever. Um, anyway, so I gained a bunch of experience, and that's pretty nice. And this person's going to give me a Peacha Berry, which I hope is a Paralyzed Cure Berry. Actually, I always liked it. I liked it better in Gen 2, when it actually tells you what kind of berries it do. Nope, it recovers from poison. Just what I didn't need. Awesome. But yeah, remember in Gen 2, back in the good old days when you picked up a berry, it says Poison Cure Berry, Paralyzed Cure Berry, Ice Cure Berry. Those were the good old days, because you don't have to actually look and see what I... Like, what's the, with the ridiculous names? I mean, I guess that makes them more realistic, but it's still silly. I mean, Paral Poison Cure Berry was the best, better name for a berry, because then at least I would know what it is without having to look at it. Oh well, so here's a Pat Rat. Um, and pat rats are annoying. It's gonna bide, but that's stupid because it's gonna die. And, um, yeah. Team Plasma is pretty stupid overall, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Or should I say Team PETA? Alright, good game, PETA. You're here to buy time. At least you know your role in life. You're not actually going to make something of yourself, you're just gonna buy time for your other pathetic members who I'm gonna catch up to. I mean... I don't know how- what are you even bothering to buy time for? I mean, I gave you guys like two hours. Actually, two days, because this is like two days later. And in addition, um, well, it was 15 minutes, first of all, so you should have gotten away, first of all. And this is two days later, so, I don't know. You guys are dumb. That's my point, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so Bug Bite's super effective against the stupid wild Sawaddle, and finally it dies, and I get some useless experience. Um, but it is experience, so it's not completely useless. So let's get this item. Paralyze Heal, thank God! Um, I was waiting for a Paralyze Heal. Too bad it came near the end of the forest, I think, but... Well, I guess I can't complain. Paralyze Heal, perfect. Just what I was looking for to heal my battle bug. And uh, there's the last ranger who probably has the Fire Monkey. Which means I'm gonna have to switch right off the bat, though, because, yeah. Um, I am X4 weak to fire, at least on my battle bug being a grass bug type. Which actually isn't that great of a type combination, let's be honest, it's kind of terrible, but it's kind of cool. I want to enjoy using it, and who really cares? It's a, it's a playthrough. I mean, you can use, you can sweep the Elite Four with Magikarp, really. I mean, it's, use whatever Pokemon you want. There are no right or wrong Pokemon to use when you play through the game. I mean, when you get to competitive battles, yeah, I mean, there's some Pokemon you can't use, but during a playthrough, every Pokemon is viable. That's what I like about it. Okay, so I gain some crappy experience, and then I get a Peacha Berry, um, and that's, sure, whatever. I'm not gonna bother with it, seeing what it is. It probably is a poison. It's probably a Paralyzed Cure Berry. They probably put the Paralyzed Cure Berry right next to the Paralyzed Heal, just to be jerks. Ah, so, the last member of Team Plasma, the one that is too stupid to run away after two days. I don't know. Alright, so here's a Pat Rat, and that's kind of, um, terrible. So... I'm just going to attack it. It's going to bide, but I don't think it can survive two hits, so it doesn't matter. Nope, no, it definitely cannot survive two hits. I'll finish off with Tackle. He's going to store energy, but he's way too weak to actually bide, so yeah. Way to go, Pat Rat. Stupid Pokemon is stupid. 
And um, here comes another stupid pet rat. And I guess I'm just going to tackle it, because I don't even... Yeah, I can 2-hit KO with tackle. That's really pathetic, actually, if a bug can 2-hit KO with tackle. Um, but anyway, so, that's pretty nice. I'm going to get to level 19 on my battle bug, meaning I think he caught up to the rest of the team. But I'm not going to switch, though, because I am super effective against Sandal. So, Sandile. Because this is a uh, part ground type, so I can hit you with my Razor Leaf. And that is super effective. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, Sandile's defeated. Which is kind of sad, because Sandile's a pretty cool Pokemon compared to, you know, um, the other crap he was using, Pat Rat. So thank you for the Dragonite Skull back. I am most happy that you have given it to me. Aw, oh, poor you. It was definitely a Dragonite, though. Gr Gorm? What kind of name is Gorm? That's a stupid name. Your name is stupid. Just saying. Oh. Well, I guess you can. I already could have told you that. Oh, really? You and what army? Here's another terrible PETA member. Oh, and here's this Berg guy. Whom you defeated? What the heck? Did he just take credit for my kills? No, I definitely beat all those team... Whatever. You're a jerk, my friend. And you have really messed up hair. And weren't you even supposed to be guarding the exit? What are you doing here? Ah, losers. Inept. I, I can't win. I mean, PETA's inept. The gym leaders are inept. Everyone is freaking inept. And, um, no, you're not going anywhere because we're going to give you to the authorities, even though there are none. So you're not going anywhere. Um, guys, you're supposed to grab him or just send out, like, your Pokemon to beat him up or something. What the heck? Did they just disappear? Call them speedy, I guess. But where the hell did they go? If they could... Wait a minute. If they could retreat that fast, why didn't they do it? With the dragon skull. Oh my god. Plot holes, I tell you. Free I hate this game. Alright, so. How do you not notice I'm holding a giant dragon skull? Why would you need to ask? It should be obvious. I don't know where I was keeping it that I would be hiding it from you, but thank you for the Moonstone. Some Pokemon evolve with this item. Oh, really? Thank you, actually. Because I think one of my Pokemon evolved using the Moonstone, as I recall. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Moonstone. Moonstone. There we go. And yes, I do. I can evolve my fetus into an even bigger fetus. That's what happens, you know, when a fetus are in, you know, a mother's belly, they b they grow into bigger fetuses. True fact. And here is my even bigger fetus. Oh, yeah. With some pink stuff coming out of it. That's probably not healthy, actually. If a fetus is spewing pink stuff, well, I don't know what to tell you. It's probably a dead fetus. Okay, so, let's move on. And here is a Pokemon ball that contains a Miracle Seed. So yeah, I did just get a grass type, even though I already gave it a big root. That's not actually useful at this point, and probably not nearly as useful as a Miracle Seed, even if I had a move that would steal HP. So I will just replace um, the Miracle Seed on my Sawaddle with the big root, my Battle Bug. So this person apparently just learned something at her school, and she thinks for some reason she can win, even though she ter she probably can't. Um, and here's a Pit of, and obviously I can't stay in, being that I'm weak to Pit of. I think X4 weak to flying. Ew. I will switch out into my troll, because my troll is going to troll this pit of, but it's just going to quick attack, so that still does nothing. I do have, I'm just going to use Rock Blast, because Rock Blast is a pretty nice uh, move, it being it's super effective and stuff, and stabbed. And that's pretty nice. Here comes a Porlo in, and um, I do have a fighting move on my troll, that is Rock Smash. And Pursuit is actually going to do annoying... Oh, it does 6 damage. That's, like, that's quite a lot, actually. It's more than I would expect, since I should have decent defense. But, um... Yeah, whatever. So, uh, Perlowin is dead! Hooray! And I have defeated, uh, you. Sure. Ah, hopefully this hiker will battle me... Oh, no, you're not gonna battle me? Well, you're... Boring. Wow, look at this perspective. Wow. I don't know. This is kind of actually hard to control. I'm leaving now. Um, hello! Ooh, a quick claw. Freaking broken Uber item. Actually, I, I 
Quick Claw is stupid and competitive. I mean, I hate everyone who uses Quick Claw and competitive because it's just lucky and it's stupid. However, in a playthrough, it could be useful, so I'm going to give it to my, um... Actually, I'm going to give it to Troll, who is holding an Everstone. I guess they can get Everstones randomly, and thank god I noticed this now before, you know, it stopped in his evolution. But, uh, now he has the Quick Claw because he probably is the slowest member of my party, and, you know, a chance to move first is always a good thing. Hello, person. People are obsessed with certain items, and they might buy it from me. Interesting, interesting. Sky, oh, Sky Arrow Bridge, up to this point. Yeah, this is the, this is the, uh, token, look at what we can do in a Pokemon game graphics, uh, area. I mean, look at it. It turns and stuff, and it's all, like, 3D, stretching the, um, DS to its maximum capabilities, basically. But it's kind of nice, look at this. The music's kind of cheery, too. Look at all this stuff going on. This is like, wow, look what we can do in a Pokemon game. You thought I never thought I'd see this in a Pokemon game, all this 3D gra- Oh, look, it even changes to perspective, and it, you know, zooms in from above. This is kind of freaky, actually. I don't even like it. Actually, I would, I would label this the most pointless section of the entire game. You know, I, the development time to develop that bridge probably was like hours and hours and hours with all the 3D effects and scripting. But it's like 10 seconds, and no one ever really feels it going back, so... Really pointless, I must say. Game Freak, really pointless. Oh, well. So, here's a pretty cool town. I actually like the 3D graphics of this town, because this town is really well done. Gives you a really New York feel. Um, and you just, you just get the impression this town's big, even though it actually is quite small. Compared to, like, a real city. Or even a town, but still. So that, eh, there's some depressed businessmen here. Just like New York City. You know if it's actually, uh, I think, modeled off the United States. Unlike, I think all the other uh, regions before this were modeled off a of region in Japan. But I believe Unova is based off the United States, so that's pretty interesting. So this person's talking to me about Geonet, and I just want to heal my Pokemon. I don't really care. Just move out of my way and let me heal my Pokemon. And, um, yeah, it actually, uh, I forget the name of this town, but I'll remember it eventually when I go outside. But this is a pretty nice town. I mean, it is the biggest town, I think, in Pokemon, ever. Um, it takes a little while to explore. In fact, probably most of next video, I'll be exploring this city. And, uh, no, it didn't tell me it's city. And all these people, look at all these people, just bumping into each other and saying stuff. Uh, huh. Reading a book, t well, I don't actually want to listen to your book. Zora, huh? Aww, cute! That is rather cute. And this guy has nothing to say, apparently. He's too infatuated with that woman. Alright, let's go upstairs. And apparently there's 22 floors, but I can only go to one. What the heck? Are they, I mean, is it two-story or 22-story? Why can't I go to the other... Whatever. I'm not gonna argue with this game. I mean, I understand, but... Why, why, why the 22nd floor? Why can't I go to the first, second, third, fl whatever? So, uh, oh, this is the, uh, Game Freak place. We're meeting all the Game Freak people. That's the sound designer. And the sound in this game is pretty good. I mean, I, I really like the music, actually. Um, while the Hoenn music bored me, and so did the Gen 4 music, the Gen 5 music's actually pretty good, I must say. It doesn't get repetitive and gay. Or annoying. But, um... So yeah, that person is the person that you go to when you complete the Pokedex, which will never happen. Alright, so, down here, we're going to the first floor, yay! And I'm... I think I have time for, like, one more building. I mean, one more building in this video is one less I have to do next one. Because I could probably spend a whole 20 minutes exploring this town. Because you actually... I mean, these buildings are actually worth exploring, because I know you get some decent items here. So this is the uh, Pokemon massager person. I'm gonna have it, her massage my battle bug, because I know that, um... Battlebug evolves to hit her? I forget. If my, I think it's female. Um, my, her final form um, through happiness, so I do need to get its happiness up. So that's a convenient way to get my happiness up. And you're trying to watch TV. What is on TV? Oh, a, it's a commercial about a polka doll. I'm sorry you're missing this awesome commercial. Wow, this kind of makes me want to buy a polka doll. I'm not going to lie. High quality? Man. I, I get a potion to- Whoa, what? 28 million yen? Oh, well, nope. I'm afraid not. <laughs> you know, you almost had me sold until you got the price. The, fr the free potion almost had me, but I don't know about that anymore. It's kind of a high price. 
check places you're curious about. Ah, so that's very that's very useful information. A child who sleeps grows well. That's good advice, I suppose. Ah, oh, thank you. TM44 rest, which I probably won't teach my Pokemon. Barry to wake it up instantly. I think I have one of those, actually. But I'm still not going to use that combination. At least not yet. I might... Well, no. Rest is like a move I never really feel like teaching my Pokemon, because I always hate being asleep. It's so redundant and rarely useful. <laughs> um... So he has a random Pokemon statue there, but I am running out of time, so I am going to peace out. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. See you later, jerks. Bye.